Hello and welcome everyone to this video on detailed homepage navigation by Zarantec. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarantec YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hello guys. Today I want to show you basic Workday navigation. Once you log into Workday, this is how the home screen looks like. This is exactly how your home screen looks like once you log into Workday. On the right hand side here, this bell icon gives you the notifications. Here you will be able to see all the notifications. So, uh, for example, if you are running a report in the background, once the report is successfully run, you can show it, you can see a notification here. If you are uh, running a report, a letter report, that is also where we are. If there is some other notification that you're supposed to get as part of a business process, you will also see all the notifications over here. You can go back to your boom page by clicking on this home icon. So just click on the long day home icon and it takes you back to the home screen. The next item is this inbox on my task. So if I click this inbox on my task, it gives us a list of all the pending items which are waiting for me. Examples, approving somebody's time off or uh, approving somebody's uh, compensation details. So all those items, you, for example, you see the, the title change. Stanley Norton title change. So there are many other items that you will be able to see it under inbox, which particularly requires your review or approval. The next item I want to show you is this search bar. This is the newly search bar in Workday, which helps you with a lot of useful features. This is a predictive search bar. So if I type Workday, so I'm looking for Workday standard reports, I can type Workday, scan reports. See, I did not write the full letters, I full complete sentence. I just type partial letters and I don't see Workday standard report. I just type Workday standard report and I can see Workday standard reports. So now I can download the, run the report from here. If you are looking for a business process, you can use the prefix BP. And say we're looking for a hire. Here you will see all the hire BPs. If you are looking for a supervisory organization, then type with CP, Conon, and organization mail. Here you will be able to see all the different supervisory organizations. That starts with GMS. And if you want to know about all the prefixes available within Workday, you can simply type this question mark. And it entered. So here we have a little text here. You can search with questions, keywords, or prefixes. And if you want to know all about different prefixes, for example, business process, we have BB, then job requisition, we have JR. But similarly, there are n number of business, there are many business products, uh, prefixes available within Workday. And the complete list is available here. All you have to do is type a question mark in the search box and hit enter. If you want to go back to your home page, home page, you can click on this Workday icon and this will take you back to the home page. The next item I want to show you is this menu bar. If you click on this menu, it has some apps which you are going to require. So these are the different apps. If you want to add any apps here or remove, you can also do that. There's some, some apps which you cannot add or remove, but there are others which you would be able to add or if I just click on this add apps here. So there we already have a recommended app. We can add this recommended app if you want to, or if you want to say, I want to add the absence shortcut here. Yeah. Just type absence and hit enter. And I can, so I have all the, I have absence here, time and absence, request absence. If I want to add a request absence app here, I can click on this plus. And you see it's showing adding to menu. So 
this is added to menu. Now, if I go back to the menu, I should see a request absence. And see, because absence was not there previously. And there are some shop, and if you want to edit them, you can also go to edit, and I can remove. If you, if you do not like this payroll app, you do not you think you do not need it, or maybe cash manager is not required, let's remove it. And you can, and as, and as I said, some of them you cannot remove, which are by, provided by default. You will not see this minus uh, click here. You cannot click that minus above it. But the ones you, that you can remove, you can see it's minus C. So I just see save changes here. The cash management app is gone. Yeah, so that's it for today. 